This next video highlights balloons as well as notes. The first thing we'll look at is this bunch of notes up here. One of the new enhancements is the ability to add a border around parts of a note. So if we highlight this number 7 here, we can add a circular border to just the number, showing that it pertains to item number 7 in the bill of materials. As well, you can grab groups of numbers or groups of letters and add a border around all of them. It's also possible to add a border to the numbering in the note. This way, it's easy to know where the note applies to based on the flags next to the balloons. For balloons, there's a new option for the size, that is user defined. This way, you can put a custom definition of the dimension so you can meet any standard you want. Another enhancement is the ability to add a parametric quantity in front of, above, beside, or below a balloon number. It is also possible to override the value. When adding parametric quantity, there are several different options. You can choose an X, places, times, or user defined. A new option for bills of materials is the ability to drag them onto their own sheet within the drawing while maintaining connectivity to the view on the other sheet. There are also some new features when dealing with bills of material. If hovering over an item in the bill of material, you get a graphical preview in a little pop-up window, so you know exactly which part it is. As well, you can right-click on a part and choose to exclude it from the bill of materials. And in order to re-include it, you must find it in the feature manager and click include. Also in the right-click menu is component options. This allows you to change what is used for the part number or the quantity. As of right now, the part number in this bill of materials is referencing a custom property. However, if we switch it to part number, we can see that the description is being used. By changing which description is used, instead of the document name, the configuration name, we'll see that that item has changed to default as its part number. As well, we can choose the quantity to be any of many items, for example the weight. In this case, it will show the weight in kilograms for the sleeve. But it doesn't just include the weight of one, it includes the total weight of all of them in the part. Assemblies have a few more options in component options, mainly the child component. What this allows you to do is show, hide, or promote the child components of the assembly. By promoting them, it will remove the assembly from the bill of materials and just have the base level parts. In 2009, SOLIDWORKS introduced the Assembly Bill of Materials which allowed you to add a bill of materials directly into an assembly and then reference it from a drawing. Now in 2010, this has been upgraded so that you can now link the bill of materials from the drawing and the assembly. We'll make a drawing and add a bill of materials which is not linked to the assembly first.
Next, we'll look at adding cosmetic threads from a drawing. First, we want to note that this part has no cosmetic threads applied to the center hole. By adding cosmetic threads in the drawing, it is now possible to include the thread type and have it update in the part. In the property manager, we can choose all the information we want for the thread type based on the size of the hole and add the cosmetic thread. Now if we go back to the part, we'll find that the threads have been added and a cosmetic thread sketch has been added to the extrude. Lastly for detailing, we'll look at adding title blocks to a part or assembly, in this case a part. By clicking insert, then tables, title block, you can add a title block. At the top, you can select a template for the title block. Here we've created one, which includes some custom properties in it. Just like a title block for a drawing, you can have custom properties which will automatically update when the properties of the part or assembly are updated. In this case, we have a link to the material property, which is PVC rigid. By changing the material, it will also update the title block, just like in a drawing.